I'm glad you brought up NWA. It's almost like you were reading my mind. Uh, NWA is the reason I fell in love with hip hop, period, point blank. Yes. Um, Easy E, when yes. I heard that voice, I was like, I need more, dog. And then it was on from there. You know, uh, yes. spe- Special Ed a few months ago um, ruffled some feathers on the West Coast when he was on the Drink Champs. And he made a comment. He said that NWA brought destruction to hip hop. That was the line that went viral. Um, there was a lot of other context behind it and around it, but that's the line that everyone stuck to, which is uh, NWA brought destruction to hip hop hip hop uh, first of all are you familiar with that when that went viral a few yeah. months ago okay cool and then secondly yeah. you know what, what were your thoughts when you when you heard that initially and, and what are your thoughts now i actually watched that dream chance interview i watched the whole thing and i mean you got to think like this east coast cats are totally different from west coast cats their lives are totally different than ours and on top of that they 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 created hip hop they created the shit. They mastered the shit. They had Hall of Fame artists come out. But when NWA came out, they was selling records that none of them motherfuckers had ever sold. Mm-hmm. Without, you feel what I'm saying? Without, without radio play. You just hear motherfuckers walking down the street in a boombox bumping that shit and you gotta go get one. You feel what I'm saying? So, the East Coast cats is kind of jealous of that. They was kind of jealous of that shit, bro. And they had never seen it. Here come these these motherfuckers with the sagging ass Levi's, these wet ass Jerry curls with the low glasses on, with the cut off finger gloves on, and they got forty ounces. They call them girls bitches and yada yada yada. They not understanding that shit. They not understanding that's easy and cube and them real fucking culture. That's how the niggas really dress out there. They just brought that shit to the mainstream. So these East Coast niggas feel superior. Like nigga, we created this shit. Y'all supposed to rock this shit the way we do it. Y'all supposed to dress the way we dress. Y'all supposed to rap the way we rap. Y'all music supposed to sound like our shit. You know what I'm saying? And when NWA hit and said, nah, nigga, this is what the fuck we doing. Bow. It was like the niggas got jealous. And Special Ed was one of them OG artists at that time that was hot. Mm-hmm. Around, around 88, 89, 90. That was hot around that time. And I'm sure that when NWA dropped, they, they took a lot of his shine. And I don't... When NWA dropped, I didn't hear nobody rocking no Special Ed no more. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I love Special Ed. I had his first album. I used to bump his shit. I knew all the nigga lyrics and everything. Mm-hmm. But I just feel that that's just his opinion. And I feel that that, that opinion is kind of coming out of envy and jealousy. Because if NWA brought destruction, he said he brought destruction to the to hip-hop. Mm-hmm. How come everybody that came from NWA is multi-billionaires, well, not multi-billionaires, but multi-millionaires and billionaires, totally successful, yeah. in their 50s, got families, ain't been shot. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. That's, that's, that's a better example than the record is because I can look at Cube now in 2023 and say, damn, I remember when that nigga was the rawest gangster motherfucker on the record, but this nigga made, went off to make some of the greatest movies that... My mom and my grandma will watch on Christmas. And my, fucking, my family sit down and watch Friday on Christmas. Relax. You feel every what year. I'm saying? Every year. Yeah, every year. That's a tradition in my house. Same here. So, so did he? Did they really destroy the hip hop industry, or did they actually help the uh, hip hop industry grow? Because when NWA dropped, and then Easy E dropped, and then Ice Cube dropped, and then Snoop dropped, and then The Chronic dropped. That shit made the most money hip hop had ever seen, ever. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. These niggas was going on world tours. These niggas was selling four, five, six million platinum albums. Tupac came and sold Diamond on a double CD. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it got to be some kind of envy there because if you add up the numbers, if you add up Tupac, or, let's say Tupac. If you add up Tupac numbers to anybody anywhere, not just the East Coast, he out selling everybody. Mm-hmm. That's that West Coast gangster shit. That's what the people wanted. And but yes, to, to answer your question, I know I got off track. Uh-huh. That's what the people wanted, and yes, the record industry got behind that because that's what was making money. Yeah, and once it started making us money, <laughs> they wanted to back up off of it. Like, oh no, nah, oh hell no, nah. that shit bad. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> If you feel me? Ain't no fun when the rapper got the gun, you know? 
<laughs> and at Capone, it's definitely been a pleasure, dog. I really enjoy going down memory lane with you, man. Um, Thank you. Give me a, yeah, if you have any shout outs, anything you could have coming up, anything you want to promote, the floor is yours, man. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Um, man, since 2020, uh, since, yeah, 2020, uh, since the pandemic, it really helped me, like, really uh, restart my label, man. I got the, the Insane Empire label back up and running. Oh, yeah. Me and Matt, okay. me and, yeah, me and Tim started in Mac? back. Oh, in no shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, we started, we started it back in 1998. Once we came, once we left Intermittent Records, we started our own uh, record label. We made it official, the Insane Empire, in 1998. And, um, you know, off and on during the years when I got out of prison, I did a few albums and shit and put out, and then I had like a 10-year, like a nine-year hiatus. And then like 2020, during the pandemic, I built a studio in my house and I just got back to recording this shit. So I revived my my, my, my uh, record label and I've been oh, putting yeah. out projects. I put an album in 2020 called 100, Acapone 100%. Um, 2021, I put out an album with my homeboy, uh, DB the Gambler, called Heavy Work. 2022, uh, I put out, um, what did I come out with, 22? Oh, 22, I came out with, well, 23, the beginning of this year, I came out with Manza Musa. And uh, I just put out uh, in September my new group album, uh, The Duffel Bag Mob, my boy Gucci Smoke, d Dow, Buff, Money Mark, uh, DB the Gambler, uh, Jonah the Artist, you know what I'm saying? We just, I just put out a new album, a new group album now uh, called The Duffel Bag Mob, uh, Till the Wheels Fall Off. And that came out in September, so I'm still working, man. Yeah. You know, if y'all want to reach me, y'all want to hear some of my shit. I'm on, <clears throat> I'm on Instagram at Acapone, A D K A P O N E. Um, that's probably the best place to hit me on Instagram. I post a lot of videos. I post a lot of promotion. I post a lot of music. So if y'all on the gram, hit me up at Acapone, A D K A P O N E. Yeah, love it, man, dog. Thank you so much for your contribution to hip hop, and I wish you much, much success, man, and have a great night. All right. Thank you, brother. You too. Peace, dog. I'm at a crossroads every damn day Looking back in my past when I sleep But living on the edge now I do it enough Iniquity down to my feet What do I do when I need a little food And I gotta get the money for the rent Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord Come on son, here you give me some money, repent What, what, thank you I really love you baby so I spank you Life is a west straight fucking you up Living in a prison, I'ma shank you so what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe. But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me, and but she starts get told. And I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. Ignore the rain, and everything gon' be okay.